Hi everyone, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about the Thunderstore. Oh, that's right, the Thunderstore. That place you go to on the Intar webs that gets you the mod things for the Valheim game. I make words good. That nice? Hooray! Valheim.thunderstore.io There are two main websites to get your Valheim mods from. Both these websites contain mods for lots of other games. The other website is Nexus Mod. Both sites have mod managers associated with their website. Thunderstore interfaces with R2 Modman or the Thunderstore Mod Manager, obviously. And Nexus Mods interfaces with their own mod manager called Vortex. I used to use Vortex and I'll be honest, I'm not a fan. R2 Modman and Thunderstore Mod Manager are both superior, in my opinion. If you want Nexus's Mod Manager, you would have to go to nexusmods.com Click on the Mods drop-down menu, and over here it says Get Vortex, the elegant, powerful, and open source mod manager. In all honesty, it's not that great. The interface is a little bit cluttered and I don't really like the way it installs and controls the mod. So we'll just forget about that for now. Let's take a second to talk about the Thunderstore itself and what we're actually looking at here. Here's the main splash screen. Obviously you have your search bar here and a couple tabs at the top. They're pretty self-explanatory, but let me explain a couple other things. Now you see these things down here? These are the categories that mods could be assigned to when they're uploaded by the mod author. They're supposed to be helpful to try and search for the mods that you want. As you're watching this video, think about any of the mods that you'd like to see covered. Let me know in the comments below. All right, back to Thunderstore. Now up at the top, there's the search bar and right below it, if we click this little thing, it'll drop down a categories menu. Here, if we click the button, we see the drop down menu of the categories we can select. I'll select enemies. Let's search. Here is the total list of mods with the category tag of enemies. I can tell you right now, these are not all the mods that have new enemies to download in them. Again, the mod authors can choose to put these category tags on their mods when they upload them to the Thunderstore. It's not a requirement, but maybe it should be. So this brings us to our first little issue when searching for Valheim mods on the internet. There are so many mods and not one conformed way to categorize or house them. Also, server admins who create their own mod packs video to come soon. for clients to download when they're joining their modded server can be tagged with any of these as well. And all a mod pack really is, is like a shopping list that you give to R2 Modman or a Thunderstore Mod Manager and tells it to download the mods on that list so they can join the server without an issue. So we've got these categories, we've got these filters. Once you start using mods on Valheim, you may also start to recognize mod authors. And here at the Thunderstore, you can just click on the mod author's name and pull up their total list of mods that they've uploaded. One of the other things to look for, and it might be the most important thing, is when these mods were last updated. A lot of these mod authors worked really hard to get their mods back functioning with the updated version of Valheim. Here on Thunderstore, that's why there's this Mistlands update tab. Again, not everybody puts it on there, even if it's Mistlands compatible. But if you click this tab, you can find all the mods that have been tagged with the Mistlands update tag, which means they're compatible with the newest version of Valheim. Just for funsies, let's click the most downloaded button and see what comes up. So this mod, Better UI, was downloaded 200,000 times. It was last updated two years ago. If you're looking for a better UI for your game, which there are many, don't download the one that's from two years ago. Usually I try to not download or use a mod that hasn't been updated within the last six months. And that also doesn't mean that every mod that wasn't made or updated after the Mistlands update isn't gonna work. Some of these old mods do just work. Just for comparison, over on Nexus Mods, you can click on a mod author's name and then go over to User Files. There you can see all the mods they've uploaded to Nexus. One of the features I do like more about Nexus Mods and I wish Thunderstore had was the Posts tab. Even something like a very, very basic forum. A way to communicate with the mod author or with other people using the mod right there on the page. That would make things a lot more convenient when, when trouble arises. But many mod authors have a Discord channel or a way to get in touch with them through Discord. Both mod pages have a tab to filter by last updated and this is really one of the most important tabs. As I said earlier, one of the first things you want to look at for a mod is when it was last updated. One thing that's important to note is that Nexus Mod and Thunderstore both may have the same mods. If you click this button on the Thunderstore, it will automatically install it into your mod manager using Thunderstore Mod Manager or R2 Modman. However, over here in Nexus Mods, there is no button for that. They have a button only for their own mod manager. So if there's a mod on Nexus Mods that you want, 
if it's not over here on Thunderstore, here's an easy way to use your R2 Mod Man or Thunderstore Mod Manager. So if I download this, it's going to end up giving me a RAR file, which is very similar to a zip file. Now, if I go to my Thunderstore Mod Manager and I go to Settings, and up here, so if you go to Import Local Mod, and then select File, here in Downloads, here's our file that we just downloaded. And if we just click open, we can name it whatever we want. I'll just change this to Valheim Raft. As for the author, you can put whatever you want. If you'd like to keep it consistent, you can always locate the mod author's name right here. The description is basically whatever you want it to be. And then in terms of version number, this is just to keep track of if you have multiple versions of the same mod downloaded. So you can just push import local mod at this point. And then if you go back to our installed, all the way down at the bottom, now we have Valheim Wrapped installed. And that's the easiest way to get your mod that you downloaded from another website into Thunderstore Mod Manager or R2 Mod Man. Thanks for watching, everyone. If this video helped you out, consider giving it a like or a comment below. Subscribe if you want more content from me. Here's a little fun gameplay for the outro. Bye bye.